up creators, this is your weekly newsflash set of updates that brings you in the know about everything you need to know about what's going on on and at YouTube. Let's get into this week's updates. All right, and first up, we have some good news around the shorts creation tools, which as of yesterday are gonna be rolled out globally. And that means that anybody with access to the YouTube app should have access to these tools by next week. Now, I hear you ask, what are the shorts creation tools? Well, quick snapshot, the multi-segment camera, access to the audio library, and access to the ability to sample audio from other shorts or other videos on the platform. Next up, let's talk stories metrics cards. Now, recently we launched an overview card on YouTube analytics for desktop to give creators a sense of how a story contributed to their channel. For an active story, this card is gonna show you views, likes, and comment per story segment, and views, likes, and comments, as well as subscribers gained for the entirety of the story. Let us know if you have any feedback in the comments below. Next up, let's talk about mobile permissions. In May, we announced that we were rolling out channel permissions to mobile on Android. Up until that point, users that had access to a channel via channel permissions could only manage that channel on Studio Desktop, and that's what we in the industry call a drag. Now we're happy to announce that we're going to begin rolling out mobile permissions to all users over the coming weeks. Next up, let's talk about automatic video chapters and a launch that we're really excited about. Now, late last year, we announced an experiment around this where instead of you having to provide timestamps and titles, our machine learning would step in and provide automatic video chapters for you. Now, as part of this launch, it's important to note that you can turn this on and off in YouTube Studio by clicking on edit video, show more, and toggling the option allow automatic chapters when eligible and available. In addition, if you prefer to opt out of automatic chapters for your uploads going forwards, you can do that as well. All you have to do is go to settings, upload defaults, and advanced settings, where you'll find that same automatic chapters checkbox. We'll leave instructions around all of this in the description below. And as always, there's a little bit more detail to make sure that you have the full picture. Three things I want you to note. The first is that anytime you manually enter video chapters in your description, that will override those automatic video chapters. Secondly, not all videos are eligible and some eligible videos may not have suitable chapters to be automatically generated. And thirdly, we'll start by rolling this out to new uploads and then we'll roll it out to more videos depending on how recently they were uploaded. Any feedback or questions, you know where to leave them in the comments below. And next up, more good news for YouTube Studio users. This is a highly requested feature and we're delighted to be able to announce that over the next couple of months, you'll be able to use YouTube Studio with a dark theme. That means it'll have a dark background and light text. Now, once live, you'll find this feature on YouTube Studio Desktop by clicking on the profile picture in the top right-hand corner, clicking on Appearance Settings, and then selecting Dark Theme. Now, remember, Dark Theme is just as suitable for daytime as nighttime and helps with glare and eye strain. And boom, that is another newsflash done and dusted for the week. We hope you enjoyed it, and I am not signing off until I get to one of these audience questions. Now, this week's question comes from J3B, who asks, how do I find my achievements? I can't find them. And by the way, well done. Thank you, J3B. Now, the team said the achievement card will show up on Creator Studio dashboard if a milestone in either views, subscriber, or watch time is passed. As with many features we discuss on this channel, this card is only an experiment and not yet launched to all creators. So we hope this clarifies from the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators. I've been Connor and this has been your weekly newsflash.